just on my morning walk and I have come across this incredibly beautiful sick insect. It's a winged one. I can't recall whether the winged ones were males or females, but the birds were attacking this beauty. And I can hear the birds in the background, so I'm going to be very careful uh, how we save this one. The birds are all up in that tree, uh, keeping an eagle eye on me as I walk along here with this little critter in my fingers. I'm going to double back a bit and um, release this beautiful stick insect uh, somewhere where it can hopefully naturally hide. Just walking past uh, what used to be the charity shop. That was the place there that brought a lot of happiness to the suburb where I live. Um, sadly it's gone and looks like it's never going to come back. And um, we're still trying to save this little critter, aren't we? That's alright, we'll get you somewhere safe. Up here as the steps are often saw uh, redback spiders hanging out, but I think, I think they've been cleared out. This is the spot here, and um, if I can't see the spider web well, I'm not going to see the spider. Mind you, um, new spiderlings will try and most probably set up here. That was often the corner of redback spiderness. And I think up here somewhere is going to be a nice spot to release uh, Mrs. Stick Insect, hoping it's a girl. Well, I'm right near a spot which I think is a perfect place to release her. Uh, they blend into nature so beautifully. They are a harmless thing. Uh, when I saw this one on the concrete just after being attacked by birds, they stick out like the proverbial. I can't say what I really want to say because it's Kitty's YouTube. But um, quite stunning things. Don't be fearful of them, but please respect them. I'm just looking underneath here, seeing if I can see any signs of bird attack. That there, where I'm wriggling my finger, is the back end. The wings are along that section there, going through the middle of screen. That looks pretty uh, healthy if you ask me. And there it is on my hand. It will hopefully spring to life here and hopefully fly away. I'd love to show you these things flying because they're an astonishing thing to see flying. If I try to get this thing to res up, well, um, I'm going praying for some action here. Okay, three, two, one, and fly. But we're dealing with nature, and well, nature doesn't seem to understand me most of the time. I should point out that's the head there, okay, right in the middle of screen area. Come on, I want to see you fly, please. On three, two, one. Nope. I'm a little bit worried about the um, the health of this stick insect. Yes, so the birds may have inflicted some uh, damage. It's not being as sprightly as I normally see these things. I'm just trying to get it to do some leggy action and do things for us. Well, it's playing a very cautious card. Oh, I'm sort of in snake territory here, and there's been a lot of vicious snake attacks in Australia of late. Ooh. Anyway, this tree here, hopefully uh, she will hug the tree and love the tree. And she can do her normal stick insect sort of business here. Part of their game is just, well, basically keeping very still and um, pretending to be a stick. And as I can see, uh, well, she's doing that with very, very good vigour. I'm just hoping that um, she's okay and also hoping I've got the sex right because I remember someone said to me there was a winged variant and a non-winged non variant. I hope I'm correct there. Am I, am I getting uh, confused with praying mantises? Yeah, it might be okay. Okay, this one. It's uh, moving very gingerly, but... Um, Sometimes that's their normal way that they progress. Well, it's looking better. Um, the stick insect's starting to get some altitude in this tree here. Hopefully it's going to be fine and dandy and uh, live a merry life. There she goes as she's up there and up into the tree. Well, hopefully the birds will never find her. Oh yeah, she's getting some good altitude now. She'll be fine. She's doing A-OK. -okay. What do you say to a stick insect? Does it live long and prosper? Or is that some Star Trek thing? Well, she's up there. Can you see where she is? You have to have pretty keen eyes. And that's what she's counting on uh, not to be found by the birdies. We'd like to eat her up. There's something a bit curious up here. I might show you and I might get into trouble for showing you. But um, when you're buying real estate and stuff, it's always buy beware. Um, sometimes the pictures look amazing, but the reality can be, well, a little bit less. 
Just going past my friendly plubbers there. Okay, there's like a beautiful real estate uh, poster they put out in front of a property trying to sell it. Take a good look at that. Look at the tree there. Telegraph pole there on one side as well. There's a car there we won't see. Okay, got a good mental picture of that. Let me show you reality. Okay, I've dodgy matched that up as best as I can. Te telegraph pole there. There's the building in the side of the building. Where's that giant 50 year old gum tree in the front of there? I can't see it at all. Can you? If that gum tree existed, it would be right there. Okay, growing up in that space there. Yeah, again, there's that picture there. There's that great big gum tree. They take a long time to get to that size. Ain't there, boys and girls. It ain't there. Mm, I'm struggling to find it. Maybe it's there. Maybe I just can't see it. As I've learned over and over and over, there is always something of interest to look at on my morning walk. 